All right, today we're flying in the roof on a workshop. This roof has a 712 pitch. And the one thing you'll notice that's very unique about this project is there's no center ridge beam. There's no center ridge beam because uh, we engineered the project and determined that we were better off by using a purlin beam. In this case, the purlin beams are steel. We still have a very long span. The length of the building is 50 feet. It does have some posts that help break that span up, but it's still a good long span in that we have a, a reasonable amount of roof loading. So in this case, the steel bears on point loads that are on either side of the windows. And, and then the roof panels lap in the, at the ridge to create a moment connection. And in this case, the roof panel effectively shortens the span. The shortened span allows the joints of these panels to be done, to be connected with surface splines and then foamed or, or mastic sealed, which of course is a more effective way to seal a panel in terms of energy efficiency than with lumber splines. The lumber spline creates a thermal bridge, of course the cost of the lumber, and it slows down the, the uh, set. So in this case, we're still setting eight foot wide panels, 21, 22 feet long, something like that. There's about a three and a half, four foot cantilever over the purlin beam on either side, and then they connect together uh, to create a multi-span condition. Your panels actually have three points of support. They're gonna support up here at the ridge. They're gonna support here at the steel I-beam. Then they're also gonna support down here on the eave wall that runs the length of the bottom of the panel. Just one of the techniques we use to be more efficient in terms of energy efficiency. One thing it will also do is minimize um, interference with the uh, gable end windows. In this case, the windows were split and we had a center post, so you could have carried a ridge beam easily in terms of structural design. However, if you wanted to put a big picture window in the middle gable end of a wall, this type of roof support allows you to split the loads down either side of a window. In this case, there's double, triple posting down either side of this six and a half inch wall panel, which carries or supports the steel up above.